Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. Um, guys, Errol Spence has come out and um, talking about the situation, the eye injury that he had, you know, near the Pacquiao fight. And this is what he had to say. I don't regret it all, at all. Uh, everything happens for a reason. If I would have fought him, I probably would have been blind in my eye and lost my career. Everything happens for a reason. I just got to take the punches and roll with it. He goes, I've been looking forward to this fight since I dropped out of the Pacquiao fight. Um, I knew I'd be looking at either Pacquiao or Ugas. It's Ugas now. Okay, so Errol Spence said he could have gone blind and lost his career. You know, he got a lot of criticism at the time. A lot of people thought, you know, uh, why is he pulled out? Now, it doesn't make any sense for Errol Spence to pull out that fight. Uh, he doesn't come across that type of fighter, a scared fighter. Uh, he doesn't come across a guy that would duck anyone or dodge anyone. I, I genuinely do think, you know, he had an eye injury and hence why. Why would you, why would you not want to fight a dream fight? You know, that was effectively probably his biggest fight of his career by a mile. I'm pretty sure he would have loved to have gone in with a Pacquiao. And a Pacquiao that was faded, he knew that. A Pacquiao that... Errol knew that he would have had a very good chance of beating. Um, so it made no sense for him to duck and dodge that fight. It made no sense for him to not avoid Manny Pacquiao. I think he would have been a massive favourite going in there and beating Pacquiao. So I don't agree with him, you know, not, not taking the fight because he was, he was scared or none of that nonsense. I think it just comes down to the fact that you know, he was injured. He didn't want to take the risk. You know, the doctors, he got medical advice and the medical advice probably told him that, listen, if you fight, you could get seriously hurt. I think that's all it comes down to really. Um, and I think he made the right call because he said if he fought, he could have gone blind. You know, nobody wants to go blind. At the end of the day, I've, I've said this many times, it's just a sport. Your health is way more important way more important and he knew that he's going to fight on anyway he's going to make money Spence is a, is a big name he's always going to get big fights irrespective yeah this was a massive fight and I'm pretty sure he was gutted that he weren't getting a fight Pacquiao and he, and he was gutted because Spence probably would have beaten Pacquiao comfortably and that would have meant that would have meant you know Spence would have had Spence would have you know made a, made a lot of money would have had no, another big name on his resume um, the Ugas fight would have happened for me down the road anyway but you know Pacquiao would have been another fight another payday for him and a fight that he would have been probably comfortable winning so yeah I think it's dis I think it's disappointing it's disappointing um for Errol Spence that the fight didn't happen but I think as he says everything happens for a reason and now he's got this fight with Ugas uh, Ugas went in and kind of stole his dream fight because Ugas ended up beating Pacquiao it kind of played out well because if Manny Pacquiao had beaten Ugas, Manny Pacquiao would have grabbed Ugas's belt, which he obviously won over Thurman, but then they kind of made Ugas the champion. Then it kind of was like, okay, these two are going to fight. Whoever fight wins this fight, fights Spence. And Ugas, for me, I think it was a complete wrong style for Pacquiao. You know, Ugas was a good counter-puncher and he was an orthodox fighter. And, you know, Spence was, he was just preparing for a southpaw. So for me, Manny Pacquiao obviously didn't help him uh there was rumors that Pacquiao would come back and look to avenge that loss but you know I think after thinking about it sitting down with family I think they didn't particularly want him to continue and I don't think he wanted to probably lost the fire lost the hunger and also not not even the fact that he lost the fire because we all know Pacquiao loves boxing I think it came down to the fact that Pacquiao probably was involved in politics in 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 the Philippines and he probably thought there's bigger fish to fry now I'm, I'm 42 years of age what have I got to gain fighting these young guys um, you know, I know there was a lot of talk about the time that, you know, he could become undisputed and he could fight Terence Crawford and he could fight those guys. But yeah, I, I don't think it really made a lot of sense uh, for him. The fact that he had lost to Ugas because, it, you know, Ugas is probably the weaker out of Spence and, and Crawford. And um, yeah, so I, I think he probably made the right call in retiring. Um, I wanted to see the Spence fight. You know, so I was gutted as a fan. I was gutted that the fight didn't happen. But I think it right. I think the fight didn't happen rightfully. So, for Errol Spence, because Errol Spence probably would have lost that fight. Uh, he probably, like he said, he could forget about losing the fight. He could have lost his eyesight, like he said. So, uh, you don't take risks. You don't take risks. 
uh, like that. You know, like I said, your health is way more important than a boxing fight or some few quid. Because Errol Spence has already made good money and he knew that once he gets back to full fitness, he's going to make more money. So, you know, he's got this fight with Ugas, which is paying him well. Then he's potentially got a fight with Terence Crawford. Then he's going to move up. Don't know what opportunity he's going to present him. So he's going to get big paydays regardless. So personally, I think the right, right move was made. Um, you've got to respect Errol Spence. He's fought all comers. Like, he is getting a lot of criticism about not fighting um, Terence Crawford. But I'm pretty sure if he beats Ugas, which, again, I'm not confident because I, I don't know what Spence we're going to get. You know, this is a guy that's had a horrific car crash. Um, you know, Salas, the trainer of Ugas, thinks Spence isn't the same. Um, horrific car crash and then an eye injury, in inactivity as well. He's not been very active for a very long time. Since he fought Kel Brook, he fought Lamont Peterson. Um, he fought Ocampo, Mikey Garcia, Sean Porter, um, Danny Garcia, and now he's fighting Ugas. So he has had a very good run at the top. He's fought all the top guys. You know, the only guy that he hasn't fought is um, Terence Crawford, which is a fight that obviously people are demanding, which I'm pretty sure down the road he'll fight him. Um, but yeah, look, I think this is a very good fight. I do. I think this is a very, very good fight between Ugas and Spence. Uh, the winner will become a three-belt holder. Uh, I don't know what the negotiations, whether they're going to be easy with Terence Crawford, because now that he holds three belts... Uh, he may want a bigger slice of the cake, which I don't know whether Crawford will agree with, to be honest. So I don't know whether, I'm not hopeful if that fight happens. I hope it does. Uh, it does look like both of them on the same page and both of them seem like they want the fight. But again, we've seen so many times before that, you know, these big fights always have a roadblock, always have something that's stopping these fights from happening. So hopefully it doesn't happen here because both of them need each other. It's it's a fight that, it's a massive fight. And to be honest with you, Spencer's still got Thurman. I still, even though Thurman for me is slightly past his best, I still don't see, I, I, I still don't see, I still feel like Spencer's got to go through Thurman. I feel like that Thurman was there in his era and Thurman is a guy that he's got to fight. I feel like he's got to fight them all. I think he's got to fight Thurman. I wouldn't even mind if like, look, I wouldn't mind if Crawford and Spence, I mean Crawford and Thurman fight. That way it eliminates one of the two. Um, but I, ideally I would love Spence to fight Thurman next. Or it, look, ideally, I want him to fight Crawford next. But if a Thurman fight happens, I'm not going to complain. I really think that's a good fight, and I've always wanted to see that fight. Unfortunately, we might never get to see that fight, which would be a damn shame because I think it would have been a great fight. Thurman v Spence would have been unbelievable, and I think a lot of people would have tuned in. That would have been a massive pay per view fight. Who knows? They may still make it. Um, but Thurman is in talks with Crawford. So maybe a fight with Crawford happens, who knows, for Thurman. Um, but yeah, I would love to see Thurman Spence. I think it's a great stylistic match. And hopefully we get that fight in the future. Um, it's a good fight, great fight, actually. Um, Thurman, people think, are slightly past, slightly past his best. Uh, but nevertheless, it's still a good name, a good name to have on your resume, a good name. You know, he was once a, a unified uh, world, to world champion, so he was a great fighter back in the day. So, look, I'm, I'm looking forward to I'm, I'm looking forward to all these matches getting made. You know, Thurman, he had a good win against Barrios. He needs to get back in the mix. Uh, he's been very inactive as well. All these guys have been too inactive. Crawford, Spence, Thurman, all of these guys have been very inactive, and that hurts your career. You know, these are the best years of their life in terms of boxing, and they're, they're not really being very active. Look at Canelo. He's active. He's making use of his prime. You know, these guys aren't making use of their prime and that's going to hurt them down the road. So they need to really get a move on and start making these big fights. It's very disappointing, you know, that, you know, I felt like three, four years of Spence Thurman's careers have been wasted. You know, Crawford as well. Crawford's just been really inactive. You know, he's been having a promotional dispute and stuff and he's just been very inactive. I just don't think they've been fighting enough. Like, he, he, a Porter fought in, Crawford fought in November. We're now in, what, April? beginning of April and there's no news there's no news that's one that's five months there's no news of his next fight who's who's Crawford fighting next there's no news we're ha almost like you could say another two months will be half of the year gone there's no news do you know what I mean and he fought in November that's a long time ago for there not to be any fight news that's six like Crawford just sits on the shelf for such a long time it's crazy for a guy that's in his prime that's, you know and Crawford's getting on he's not young He's just sitting on the sitting on the shelf. 
You know, I really hope, look, I think a Danny Garcia fight would be good for Crawford. I think Crawford needs to start getting those names on his resume. You know, a Garcia or a Thurman fight definitely makes a lot of sense. That's what I think, personally. I think those fights should be made. A Garcia or a Thurman. Crawford needs to stay active. You know, he needs to fight these top guys, you know. So, if look, if he can't get Spence, I think Garcia and Thurman would make great fights. Uh, people say they don't want to see Crawford Garcia. No, I, I like to see it. People go on about Boots, but let's not forget, Boots isn't accomplished. He's never won a world title yet. Uh, it's kind of a nothing fight for Crawford, but Garcia and Thurman, these are fights that are names. These are fights that will sell. A Crawford Boots fight, will it sell? Probably not. In the sense, in the same sense as a Garcia or Thurman, I think they're bigger fights. Boots is a great fighter, but he's still got to prove himself. And he's not going to be able to prove himself until one of these guys step up and fight him, which I don't think any of them will be anytime soon. But we'll have to wait and see. Let's wait and see how this all, how this all, you know, cleans up and how this all plays out. But yeah, what do you make of Spence saying that, you know, if he had fought Pacquiao, he could have gone blind? Um, I think he, I think he'd made the right choice. I do. I, I don't think he should have fought. Uh, I think he definitely made the right call in not fighting. Uh, but leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you know, what you think in the comment section about Spence saying what he's saying. Uh, leave your thoughts. Let me let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.